The voice, Michael Chevello with you. And you can just sense the anticipation for the matchup between the golden boy, Badahari, and the Cinderella story, Doug Viney. Viney, who's been training out of Tokyo with Sugar Ray Sefo in preparation. Throws out the left hand, showing some of the boxing skills that he represented Tonga with at the Athens Games in 2004. In his corner here tonight, another former legendary boxer of New Zealand, Five for Lamoy, Ronnie Sefo and Jason Vermoa. Viney will show no respect to Badahari. Badahari respects no one. Double jab from Viney. Outside thigh kick from Viney. And it's a solid start for the Wonder Boy. Catch and kick, not permitted under K1 rules. But nicely executed all the same there from Badahari. He's coming off a decision victory over Peter Graham in Hong Kong is Badahari. He did it easily against the Chief on July 27. Meanwhile, Viney coming off that astounding victory at the Bellagio on August 11th, when he came through as the alternate reserve fighter and defeated Zabit Samadov in the final. Flipping left hook from Viney, rip kick from Badahari. A lot of intensity, a lot of bad intention between these two men. Badahari is the younger, 22 years old. That lethal left hook from Doug Viney has got more hooks than a tackle box, says Doug Viney. And if he lands, Badahari will starve to death rolling. Hurry, who said he'd knock Doug Viney out inside of one round here tonight. A lot of people have talked a lot of smack about Doug Viney over the years. I've commentated pretty much all of his fights since 2001. And he always upsets the critics, does Doug Viney. He thought about the balk right hand. The switch hit right hand is one of the specialties of Doug Viney. Beautiful rip kick from Badahari, and Viney's got to start. Catching those ones and defending. Goes for a rip kick of his own. Loving left hand from Viney. He's throwing the leather here in the first round. But Badahari's got the better kicks. Viney's got to be careful not to drop his guard as he comes in on Badahari. And final 10 seconds of the opening round. Good rip kick again from Badahari. Outside thigh kick from Viney, end of the first, we go to the towels. And however you cut that one, folks, it's a very close first round. I'm possibly going to edge it the way of Doug Viney on aggression alone. Glancing left hand there from Viney. He's got the power in the hands to be able to drop Badahari. What he's got to be careful of, though, are Badahari's very long legs and incredible kicking power. Interesting to note here, as I look up, both men are choosing to stand between rounds. A very relaxed look on Badahari's face and also the blue corner of Doug Viney in front of me. Doug is looking very relaxed as his coach, Fai Fuller Boy, gives him instructions. Ronnie Seffo, the younger brother of Ray Seffo, and Jason Vermoa in the corner. Meanwhile, Melvin Manhoff and Mike Passanier in the corner of Badahari. Here we go, second round. It's been a great year for Badahari this year. He won the World's Heavyweight Championship in Honolulu on April 28 when he knocked out Yusuke Fujimoto in one round. Butter spotting something on the gloves here of Doug Viney. He wants the gloves wiped down. Maybe some Vaseline found its way onto the gloves accidentally. More likely just a bit of water. Quick bit of instruction there from Ronnie Seffel. We're back underway here in the second round. An excellent fight so far. Jab outside, thigh kick from Badahari. He is faster than a speeding ticket, the Moroccan. Big left hook overhand, right from Viney. Good exchange there from the Kiwi. 
He's got more punch than a high school prom, has Doug Viney. Jab outside Viney kick again from Hurry, just beating Viney to the punch. Viney's got to use his angles. Goes for the body of Banahari. These are two highly skilled, highly cerebral fighters in center in. There's a glancing right hand to the jaw from Doug Viney. Throws up the center corridor, just fell short. Inside thigh kick, good combination work upstairs from Viney, scores. Outside thigh kick from Viney and Butterhurry returns the favor. And again, shot for shot, toe to toe here in the second round. Oh, the right hand from Hurry! Doug Viney goes down! It was the same right hand he knocked out Roslan Kalev with. Viney's in trouble here. It's all over! It's good night, Irene! Bala Hurry knocks out Doug Viney in the second round and becomes the first man through to the Tokyo Dome. Doug Viney gave it a great shot. His first time ever in the top 16. But Bala Hurry with that right hand that he used to knock out Ruslan Karayev in Yokohama on March 4th, it works wonders for him again. There it is, right hand to the jawline. Doug Viney, as I said earlier, it was always the danger that he drops his hands on the way in. Have a look here, drops the left hand, comes forward, hands down, but a hurry saw the opening and it was good night for Viney. Great sportsmanship there in centre ring from the world's heavyweight champion, Butter Hurry. Here's now the first man through to the final eight in Tokyo. And Doug Viney. And he's back to the drawing board for the Cinderella story. But what an achievement for him just to have made it to the final 16 here tonight. Yeah, Doug Viney came into this fight super confident. You know, Doug is a, a protege of Sugar Ray Cepho, and Doug had actually won the K1 USA Grand Prix at the Bellagio. Uh, so he was super confident against Butter Hurry, and Butter really did underestimate Doug Viney for that fight. Doug Viney is a very big man, and not only does he knock him out, but he breaks his jaw, and uh, which would be impressive if you saw really how tough the Tongan type people are. After a slow start, Butter Hurry found his stride, he ends up breaking Doug Viney's jaw. I remember going back to the hotel that night with Doug Viney and his jaw was just misaligned because Butter really did crack his jaw wide open and damage him. That was just a, it was a gruesome fight because Doug's a very close friend of mine. I've known him for you know, over a decade and to see a brother hurt like that, and that was hurt big time. I mean, he got punished by Butter. Now he's basically solidified himself with all these victories as being a serious contender and is, is anybody else that's, that, that's, that's stepped in the K1. You know, and people are really now are starting to, you know, definitely looking to avoid him. Hari had knockouts in four of his last five fights and seemed to be on an unstoppable run to the top of the K-1 ranks. When we return, we will examine the 2008 year that would define his career. This is In This Corner featuring Bada Hari. We'll be right back as HDNet Fights presents In This Corner, featuring Bader Hari. As HDNet Fights presents In This Corner, featuring Bader